Hello and welcome to a new episode of American Truck Simulator. Now, you can see here, I have a Freightliner. I was talking about that in the episode before this. I really like it. It's a really good design. I went for the flat roof. As you can see, I have this uh, design on the side. Now, one of the biggest improvements over my other truck, which I still really like my other truck, is that we actually can put a GPS on the interior. As you can see from up there. That sounds different. That sounds like that on the inside. From the outside. Yeah. It's really high pitch. You hear every time you shift in the gear, it sounds like this. So I think this sounds pretty good. I'm going to be pointing a few things out later in this episode. But for right now, let's pick up our load. We're hauling a double today. Let's go to Freight Market, and this is what we're hauling limestone. 94,000 pounds. Yes, our truck is up for the job. And this truck is pretty fast. It's not as fast as my truck, I don't think. But it still definitely does have good power. Now, I did make a mistake one time, and I put the GPS on the other side of the um, windshield. So it was completely blocking my blind spot mirror. So let's move it a bit back that way. Now let's check how it is over here. Not gonna make this in the first try, I don't think. Just move it forwards a little. Now let's move it back. Now back that way, and boom, made it. Now let's just check about where we're delivering to. So we're delivering to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And this is a kind of short load. Now we're delivering a coastal mining. Expected Thursday 6.49 to Thursday 10.59. And we I got 7 hours left and our estimated time to get there is 3 hours and 7 minutes. And we have 181 miles to go. So... Now, the fair, I really just... This truck is a different type of experience that I was getting. Now you see... There's kind of an issue with a blind spot up there. And also if I do that, there's an issue with this stupid little thing that separates the mirror. So, I've tuned my mirrors to a certain way to where used to I couldn't even see the very back of my truck. Such as like, you know, the thing was covering up right where the back of my truck was in the right mirror. And it was annoying so I decided to uh, over adjust the mirrors to the right so that it would like so that I could actually see things gotta turn left out of here try and give it throttle so that I don't have to deal with a red light and didn't hit anyone there on doubles so they are so they don't have the best turning radiuses Right. How we're getting off the highway. But this truck, I actually um have I really like this truck. It's just so more easy to it's not necessarily easier to drive, but because it, it, for some there's something about it that makes it not as easy to drive as my other truck, even though it's smaller. But you can see that I've driven for about Let's check here. 1300 miles. Because I haven't reset my trip odometer. But 1300 miles, and my average fuel economy is 3.4. Which is a lot better than my other truck. Because my other truck gave me about. Let me, let me just think. It gave me about 2.5 miles per gallon. Which, I mean, still, we don't really care about the fuel economy. But it's just a nice convenience. And we have more money. That's because I've been playing a lot. A lot. And driving a thousand miles in this game doesn't take too long. But it took me about an hour to two. An hour to two hours to get this done. I'm thinking about installing the Coast to Coast Map Mod. Because in the Coast to Coast Map Mod, you, you map mob. Well, my English is already starting perfect. Good job. Anyway. 
the Coast to Coast map mod lets you go from coast to coast. Now, of course, it's not as detailed or anything like that. No, because, like, they don't have, like, the resources to make everything. Because, if you think about it, SCS, which is the company that makes this, have, so far, I've only made, I think, like, four states. So, the game came out with California and Nevada. And then, they added Arizona. And then, they added New Mexico. And the next map that they are adding is Oregon. Now, I think Oregon's going to be a really nice refresher after dealing with all of... Well, not really dealing with, but... Oregon is going to be a lot more green. And over here, it's a lot easier to make because it's mainly desert-type areas. Now, there are some forest areas, like in uh, New Mexico, northern part of New Mexico. But that's really only it. And Oregon, I can't wait for it. It looks like it's going to be an amazing map. But, this truck really has served me well. Um, I think that I am eventually going to go back to my truck, but I like being able to have my GPS in the truck instead of having to use this GPS, which is a lot more unrealistic. And right now, if I drive efficiently, I'm getting about four or seven miles per gallon. But I need to go back up to speed because I don't want this video to take forever. And there goes my uh, trailer. Just yeah, it's kind of kind of wobbly. Yeah. Now I got a bit of a a bit of a grade here. My wheel has been acting really, really weird recently. So what my wheel has been doing is like I will sometime if well it this only happens after I play a big game of Forza but like if I play Forza for a while or something like that the game or the wheel not the game I'm an idiot don't ask the wheel just gets out of alignment so if my wheel is centered it's like this yeah it's stupid so if, if I was at my wheel centered right now which I do it's normal of course, I have to turn now, but that's where I pass this truck, and we get onto a straight road, hopefully. I mean, this is America, so we should have a lot of straight roads. It was like this, centered. So I would have to put the wheel like that to center it. Go to exactly 75, let's get up to 80, actually. I'm going to get in the slow lane. Even though I'm going about five over the speed limit. And you see on my dash thing here, which that is an act that's an extra. I can measure like outside air temperature, time, my gearing, which is very good. So that I can see my low and high gear. And then you know, just the, all that stuff. And then also my speed which I'll show right now even though I'm most likely not going to be looking at that and that was very anal because I was looking at my speedometer stupid Let's get back into the middle lane this is the passing lane so I'm not going to stay in the passing lane because that is bad this thing in the passing lane is actually illegal in some places if you do not know the middle lane is a passing lane it's not just another lane to stay in. I mean, unless there's a bunch of traffic, of course, and like, you know, bumper to bumper. 56 miles to go. Stomp on it. I'm gonna get it back up to 75. We're not keeping kids alive because we're not going 55, but uh, 75 is better. You know, you can compromise. Time equals life, and yeah. You know, I don't need to turn over. Yes, I do. I need to turn over into this lane. And that's kind of wobbling a bit back there. Yeah, look at that thing. Especially in the very room. Nope, nothing there. Nothing happened at all. 
Now, right now at Florinet, let's see what type of fuel economy we're getting. 2.3. That's to be expected. I'm hope. I'm, I'm thinking that once I get uh, the amount of miles I have on my other truck on this truck, then I'm gonna just switch to my other truck, maybe, which is my Kenworth 389 Custom by Viper. Forget the person who made this truck, but it is a very nice truck. Props to you who made this. It's amazing. They took a lot of time. You can definitely tell that they did a lot of work on making this. And they did a fabulous job. Time... The longer you take on something, the more perfection you make it. And I can definitely tell that this thing took a lot of time. You can change the wood on the dash. You can change the steering wheel, which a lot of trucks have, but still that is a feature there. You can adjust so many things on this. You can add a roof, different type of roof. You can even pick a different type of, ex like, 15 different types of exhaust. And it's just cool how many things they have. So let's check here. And there's, like, uh, three different things you can put on, like, the dashboard. I have two things right now. Of course, you could put t another GPS if you wanted to, if you're basically... If you're weird like that, and you're like that, 15 GPSs everywhere. Yes, you can put more. You can even put a little GPS down where my, uh, thing that shows my, uh, gearing and, s and that stuff. Now we're turning on here. I'm going to take this a bit wide. Check my mirror. And nice around that corner. I had about half a tank. And this truck can go a long time on a full tank. It's just, I'm bad at keeping the tank full. That's the thing. So a lot of time I'll only be running about like half tank or so. And then I'll drop down to like, maybe an eighth of a tank left. And, um, I've already ran out of fuel in this truck before. Because, um, one time I made this mistake where, basically, I didn't see the turn that I needed to take, and I ended up going about 60 miles farther, and I was already running low on fuel. So when I turned back, I was desperately low on fuel, and I was about maybe 20 feet away from the fuel station. So I think we should go this way. This is the the delivery is back in this corner. Let's check it back there. Trailer's looking good. So we need to park it here. Oh, this is an easy parking. I ch oh yeah, that's because this is a truck that you can't reverse. I forgot. Because you know it's double uh like the uh, actuation on it. Let's say a double trailer. And we were able to do this all in one episode. So if you appreciate all the hard work that I put into every video that I make, I edit these for so long and I record them, spend multiple hours on them, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.